hey guys welcome to another vlog as you can see from the title i tested positive for covid19 yeah so i don't know i really honestly hope mom um, side note that you can't hear the fan in the background but i just opened up the windows in the house so it was really really like hot and muggy in here so i had to turn on the fan um so i really hope you're not hearing it okay so i turned off the fan um yeah so i went my flight was yesterday I'm gonna pull up my phone my flight was yesterday at 9 in the morning a lot happened with my flights at first my flight was supposed to be in Mobe um, and it got canceled and rescheduled so when I say canceled and rescheduled they canceled my first flight which was I believe at um, sometime around 1 30 there have been so many different changes that I can't really remember the original time and then they switched it and I was on a different flight and not only that but my flight was meant to stop in Atlanta and then go to New York and originally I had a straight flight um my sister was very upset by that so she called and complained and a lot happened over those couple hours and then they rebooked me for something in Kingston granted I still had a layover in Atlanta but it was earlier and a little bit more convenient as I was coming from St. Catherine, Kingston. Um, yeah, so that happened. I didn't have to go all the way to Mobe, which I prefer Mobe Airport. I actually have a whole entire vlog. I'm gonna post a vlog after, but I just wanted to get this out there. Um, I'll just most likely upload the vlog like Monday or the next day after this video, or I'll upload it Tuesday or Wednesday, but I, I, I had no idea. Um, so yeah uh on my way to the airport got there was running a little bit late and i was really like begging them to do my test as quickly as possible and to get it in so i could get my results before the 30 minutes because i was running i was running pretty late uh, but i was still on time but i was running late um i don't know because i woke up so or i woke up like almost six hours before my flight before not even i woke up like 10 hours before my flight i don't know how i ended up being late but anyways that's besides the point so yeah i'm here waiting and i'm like oh my god checking the time i'm like jesus like what's taking so long he did the covid test so quickly and i'm not even gonna speak on how the test went because it was a bit shaky like i know he's supposed to go all the way back but it didn't really go all the way back um so it's like a lot of things i'm thinking about now that's like mm. Um, yeah, and it was so rushed. I begged him and he was like, okay, and as soon as he finished my test, the lady was walking away with swabs from a previous test. And he was like, oh, wait, take this because her flight is soon. And she's like, okay. Um, I was waiting and I'm like, oh my goodness, what's going on? Like, you know, they have a little tent in the Kingston airport. In Mobe, it's inside the airport, but in Kingston, it's outside the airport. Um, so I was waiting under the tent and every time the lady got up to go get the results i'll be like oh my god that must be mine so she came back like three times with two to three papers each time and she's like oh such and such and i'm like no such and such i'm like no such and such i'm like no and i'm like damn like i'm really gonna miss my flight like what are these people coming with my results so i think it was about like i don't know like 20 something maybe half an hour it was literally over half an hour um later she came back and she called out a couple of us and i'm not smiling because i'm happy or anything I just, I just don't know how i've been watching these videos just to see like how i could present this information and everybody was like so nervous um we react differently i guess but i'm not smiling i'm not happy about this at all i don't want you to get the wrong idea i'm not not at all i'm not proud of it um nothing of the sort but yeah so she came she called a couple of us out and they were calling a good amount of people out like when i saw them do that i was like oh, i wonder what's going on like are they retesting those people but i never thought anything of it until it became my turn because when i tell you like they called out like six people before me and when they called me they called out four other people like other than me 
So I was like, damn, like what's going on? And instead of her telling us, oh, you all tested positive, she kept taking us one by one. So like we had no idea what was going on. An older lady was there and she was getting nervous because her flight was at one o'clock and she called like somebody. And he was like, oh, you fret too much. Stop worrying all them things. Rare and rare. Just calm yourself and just wait for the people them and all them. All those things. That's what he was trying to reassure her. So, um, when she called me, she was like, oh, you tested positive. And I'm like, what? Yeah, so she's like, you tested positive. We're going to test you again for like what strain you have and all these extra things and et cetera, et cetera. So I'm like, damn, I tested positive? Like, I was, I was shocked, you know? Yeah, so I was really shocked. I immediately told my mom and my sister, like, literally at the same time I told them, um and then my mom was like do you have any symptoms i'm like no the lady did ask me though i'm not gonna lie she did ask me if i felt symptomatic if anything like she i think she only asked me if i felt symptomatic and yeah and then the doctor came over and he did the swab and this time he went far back like you remember my other videos where i like took the test and i showed you guys yeah he went far back it felt like those times the first Anyways, we're not going to get into that. Um, yeah, I have absolutely zero symptoms. Um, no, nothing. I have, I guess I'm asymptomatic. I just feel absolutely nothing. I would have never known. I don't know. Um, my mom and my sister, they're both nurses. And they're kind of in a bit of disbelief. They want me to get tested again during the week. And my sister was actually kind of baffled that it was an antigen test because she's like those are very um what's the word they're very faulty i guess i don't i can't remember the right word that i would use um but faulty so she's like you should definitely get a pcr um so i'm gonna get retested next week um i rebooked my flight already because i told delta i explained to them what happened and they rebooked really me so at the end of the month i'll be leaving god willing um and it's so crazy actually because the day before my flight and my mom brought it up to me because i completely forgot i was talking about people who tested positive for covid um that they can't well online i read an article that it said they couldn't retest so they would have to get like some type of doctor's note or something after 14 days i don't know how old that article was but i'm hearing that you can retest so i am just to double check make sure that it is positive i don't know i'm thinking so hard into it that yes i did go to a couple parties but i don't know like i'm just trying to think and of course i told everybody that i was in contact with and I told them, like, you should go to get tested. Whether or not they got tested, that's up to them. But I did inform people that I was around. Um, nobody is symptomatic. Like, nobody. I live alone, so I'm fine. Like, I'm fine that way. The only thing is, like, my fridge is completely empty because I was going to be gone for a good while before I came back. So I completely, I gave Chad and Kai um, some frozen stuff that I had that I didn't want to go to waste. I gave away my mayonnaise, I gave away my peppers, I threw out my one egg that I had left. Um, but yeah, I don't feel anything. Only when I turn on the fan, my fan is pretty dirty, that's when I get stuffed up. But other than that, like as soon as I turn off the fan, my nose unstuffed. Um, yeah, so I don't know, I if you didn't know, I am double no, not double i am vaccinated i had to get vaccinated the last time that i went up in order to one go to my mom's graduation so i was vaccinated before my mom's graduation that was a whole four months ago um i had to be vaccinated in order to go into the restaurants in new york i had to be vaccinated in order to bridal dress shop with my sister so like i was i'm fully vaccinated it's hot i got these lights it's not hot but i'm sweating i got these lights on um yeah i just wanted to share that with you i don't know what to i don't know how to feel because like i don't feel like 
I have anything, but I know people can be asymptomatic. But I'm just trying to wrap my head around how. But uh, like I said, I have been going out. Um, I, yeah, and the couple times that I did go out, literally two times that I did go out. Um, yeah, so it could have been any time. My sister, within her soul, feels like it's a false positive my mom said she doesn't really know um yeah so only time will tell when i get that next ch um, test to double check but i guess i'm fortunate in the sense that i don't have any symptoms because obviously like i've had friends who have had covid even my auntie had covid like when it first came out she had covid um and their symptoms were very like heavy on the chest you know so i don't have any of that none of that so i'm fortunate if i am actually like actually actually positive um then i'm blessed and maybe it's because of the vaccine why does man feel for complain music and stop right in front of my house okay he's leaving um, so like if I am actually positive, which I will keep you updated because I'm posting this video very soon I'll keep you updated when I take the next test um, Yeah, I don't know and what my sister was also saying is that the antigen test It could be that I've had COVID in the past and the antibodies are still in my body um I, I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, so like I said, I just wanted to keep you updated, guys. I'm fine. Like people are telling me, oh, get well soon, but I, like I feel absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. So thank you for that. And I know you guys are gonna be like, oh, all of this extra stuff in the comments, it's really unnecessary. Um if you want to share your experience, then go right ahead. But and I, I most likely put a disclaimer in the beginning, like all that extra stuff that you guys post under other people, not you guys, but that people post under other people's videos about stuff that you should have never gone out, like whatever, da, 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 da. all those things. Please don't post that because, yeah, because that, and I know, I know, but there's nothing I can say. I'm hoping that it was a false positive because I just honestly just cannot wrap my head around it But like I said, I'll keep you updated next time I get tested because someone was there um, My mother brought her daughter to get retested because she was positive So she brought her daughter back to get retested um, So I'm just gonna have to do that and yeah by the time my next flight comes around it would have been 14 days so i can leave the country because they say 14 days right but i still have to get tests i still have to be negative so we'll see how that goes yeah peace out and thank you guys so much for watching sorry if the title worried any of you i'm perfect i can't really say <laughs> i'm imperfectly fine and yeah, I'm just gonna keep my distance obviously and buy my time, be a good citizen, not go anywhere. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Share some experiences if you have any, drop some kind comments, um, drop some things that I should do while quarantining and I'll keep you updated. Have a safe week and yeah, peace out.